Hi, I got an email from one of our users who's wanting to use the Cinti Studio assets with Yumi. Um, now, I own the Simple Town cartoon assets, and I have looked at them before, uh, and because of the way they're built, they're a little bit tricky um, to get to work with Yumi. As you can see even from this screenshot, you've got large tiles, thin tiles here, tiles of different sizes, um, and also if we look at the sit test scene that you get with it, you'll see that things like this road here are actually built up from these smaller fragments, yet the beach is built out of quite of a large section, things like the water or a stretch polygon, uh, even the grass over here. Um, it's just a stretch polygon. So this is not really ideal, even though on the, the surf surface it looks like it should be something that should work really great with something like a tile editor like Yumi. So I was thinking about how to get an asset like this and other assets to work better with, a, with Yumi, and I've come up with a little tool that might be useful. So I'm going to show you that, but before let's let's try and get um, the Simple Town assets into Yumi as, as best we can. So if we create a new scene, um, I'm gonna I've got some settings here that kind of work for the Simple Town assets. It's it's difficult because of having all of the tiles of a different scale. You kind of have to pick one of the larger tiles and say that's going to be my single tile size, but then. Everything else that's smaller than that doesn't quite conform to a, a tile size. You'll see what I mean when I import. So just double check I've got the folders right. So Simple Town, Prefabs, Environment. And I'm going to put them in a new folder, which I'll call Prefabs. And I'll just create a folder in there called Simple Town. Um, so these settings kind of work, they're not ideal, uh, but we're going to try and get this tile set into a, a really usable state. So I'm going to convert that tile set. And because we've just imported it, Yumi doesn't know anything about it, so we're going to reload the available tile sets. Now, if we go to Simple Town Environment, we've got all of the Simple Town stuff here. So let's enable Yumi, find our grid. So let's have a look at some of these tiles and see what we've got. Uh, so here's a good example of something that's not going to work. This is one of the thin tiles, but next to it is one that takes up the whole space. These all look OK. Uh, something like this bridge is out slightly, so let's put that over there. And I think I've demonstrated this before on one of the BitGem, is it BitGem? Um, tile sets of how to fix up things that are not quite centered. So if we just focus down on that, what you need to do is go select the tile and then go into its pivot object. And what you can do then is change, change where it sits in the in the grid, so it needs to move further down, and I've got a feeling that's going to be zero on the Z or Z. Once you've done that, apply, and now every time you drop one of these bridges, it'll be aligned to the grid. So it's a little bit of tweaking involved when you first import a tile set that's that's built in such a sort of flexible way. It says this again will be not quite aligned to the grid. We select it. Find the pivot object that was on the Z, put it back to zero, apply that to the prefab, and now it'll work every time you you, you want to drop that tile piece. So I'm not going to go through everything here because I want to get onto um, this new little tool I've written, which um, I think the tile sets like this and also in sort of general workflow could be really useful. So enough of that. Let's load this demo scene again. 
Uh, I won't save that. Now if we look here, this, this scene has kind of all the tiles that we'd want out of it, but as we've seen already, it's split into these smaller fragments, right? So what I've done is I've created a tool under Uponic Utils Yumi Prefab Sampler, which we can drop down there. And what this will do is allow you to select a group of objects in a scene and it will create a, a new prefab based on those objects. So what we need to do is create a uh, folder for them to go in. So I'm going to call these U, U tiles. And we'll put them in there. Now we can add uh, an append name if we want. I'm going to do that just so that it's clear where they are in our map editor when we scroll through the tiles. Now what I do is I select, simply click, shift, select the tiles here that I want. I'm going to also include these signposts. And if I click on sample prefab, we now have a copy of that. So what we can do is go through this map, find bits that we like. So for example, a section here with the tree in the middle. Uh, select it. Uh, is that everything? Looks like it. Uh, create a tile from that. Um, there's a sort of crossroads over here, so let's do that. And then something like this bridge over here, even this is built slightly differently, so it's built in strips. Also, ah, come on Unity, there we go. Also you can see underneath it's got these, these sort of struts to, to hold it up, so why don't we build a piece that's got four of those, it's got the strut underneath it, it's also got these guys. Okay, so these are our new prefabs that we've created. And what we can do now is if we go back to our tile converter and select the new folder as the source, we can use all the same settings, although um, because what I do is I, I try and recenter across the bounds, what, I, what I'm going to do is uh, change the offset values to zero because they should be centered around our selection. Let's try it anyway. Um, and everything else should be fine. We're going to put them in the same folder. So we convert those tiles. Uh, we need to reload this tile set because we've added to it. Let's enable Yumi. Find the grid. Where is the grid? There's the grid. There's the grid. Um, whoop. And let me just move this down here. At the bottom here, we should have our new tiles. So here's our road. And it looks like it's slightly under the grid. Let's just uh, drop that, select it, find it. In fact, let's have some. Let's put something into references from. So we know that these beach bits work okay. So let's put a couple of those down. Uh, again, it's a question of sort of selecting, selecting the tile, uh, making sure you're only adjusting the pivot. We can move this up by hand here try and find a value that looks like it's going to work. If we choose the wrong value and um, we, we need to shift things, as long as we're doing this all on the same prefab, it doesn't really matter if we want to adjust this later. So now we should have 
Let's go scroll through that road that we can drop as Yumi tiles. Let's uh, put that there. Same thing. Let's move it up just for one time on the pivot object. So I'm guessing this will probably be about the same, although it doesn't look like it is. Um, the reason that these are a little bit strange on the Y is because obviously when I'm selecting these, we've got these uh, traffic lights and signposts and everything, and that affects the bounds. Um, so certain tiles are taller uh, than others. So the tile with the exit sign is actually a taller tile, if that makes sense. Um, so just adjusting these by hand once means that they can be good to go for the rest of your project. Uh, what else did we get? We got this one. So again, let's select that, make sure we choose the pivot object, move it up, see where we are, looks a little bit high, again make sure I'm choosing the pivot object, and let's try, that needs to be more, okay. And there we go. What we've done is we've taken parts of the um, Simple Town sample scene and created tiles out of that from the multiple objects that these tiles are created from and imported them into Yumi so they can be used more effectively with Yumi. Um, one thing to mention, they take the name of the first tile or first object that's in their selection. Obviously you can rename these after they've been created if you wanted to um, make them a little bit more friendly. I didn't do that just for time, but uh, I just wanted to demo this. I really hope this is going to be a useful tool and I think it really opens up a, a, another world of possibilities for, for things that haven't quite worked well and probably would never work well with a sort of generic tile mapper and allowing you to uh, play with the scene, sample from the scene, choose the bits that you like, create a tile from that, and then put those into Yumi. Okay, this will be in the next release of Yumi. I'm also curious if this tool is useful outside of Yumi. I mean, is it something that you'd pay a dollar for? Um, if, you know, it could be useful for any kind of project where you're selecting a bunch of objects and you want to create a centered prefab from them. I don't know. So maybe it'll come out as a as a dollar asset as well. But if you own Yumi, it'll be part of Yumi in the next update. Okay. Thanks and hope you all have a good day.